We, including Kyle, agreed you would be the one to go home and Indy would join it. What's that? Why, just the sound of Kyle and Joseph throwing each other and leftovers totally under the DJ Showtime bus. We may have held out hope that somehow the fan favorite alliance would emerge from this week's split house twist bruised but still intact, but the drama that played out with its total implosion Thursday is hard to beat. I'm speaking. I mean, it's making for a very exciting season, so thank you for that, I guess. Let's talk about it. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. As fun as it's been to watch The Leftovers take out their unwitting targets one by one, I'm glad the producers threw in the Brochella and Direfest twist. Although the Brochella side of the house had like the chillest eviction. Julie, you look prettier than a fresh pan of cornbread. We've known it's Jasmine going home since Michael drafted her, and unsurprisingly, she's given the boot in a two to zero vote. See what I did there? Jasmine doesn't even seem surprised, not even when Michael and Brittany reveal the Leftovers Alliance and their goodbye messages. The only surprise for me was when she told Julie she's only mad at her former ally Alyssa, who she learned this week has been spilling info outside of their alliance. Things are far, far more chaotic outside of the Direfest. Terrence, when you want to talk to me, I don't mind if you call everyone. I'm not going to play telephone. With Kyle and Joseph on the block after the veto, Joseph is desperate to convince Terrence, Turner, and Alyssa to keep him, trying to point out that Kyle really can't be trusted. From Poe's pack to the Oasis and now the Leftovers, he has turned on all his alliances. But the other four are so shut down, they even make a new alliance called The After Party when Joseph gets called to the diary room. Could this cause friction with the leftovers inside? I mean, who knows? And honestly, I don't even care. Poor, poor, sweet Joseph. I really thought he could have done something with the Kyle is a rat narrative, at least with Turner and Terrence, and then he could have forced a tiebreaker vote. But all that hope was lost after that house meeting he called TBH. Joseph tried to channel his lawyer skills to expose Kyle's many betrayals. I mean, he was willing to keep Alyssa on the block back when she and Amy were nominated. He even said last week that he'd rather put Alyssa on the block himself than backdoor her. You're speaking for me, dude. Like, it, it, just it, because it, what I say and I agree with the plan does not mean, mean how that's you move. exactly and again, how I'm gonna that's do it. So don't put that in my mouth. And it's not that these things aren't true, but I think he would have been much better doing this in one-on-one -on -one combos. I mean, Kyle is ready for this cross-examination. Alyssa is never gonna trust Joseph over her own boyfriend. And Turner, or boy his real only chance, he's more focused on getting the right audio for the drama than backing up his former ally. I stopped this incredibly tense situation just, you know, for audio purposes. Although honestly, thank you, Turner. So it's no surprise when Joseph is ultimately evicted from the house in a 2-0 vote. And he tells Julie that in the end, he thinks his loyalty to the leftovers was his downfall. But it was important for him to bring loyalty even into an environment like Big Brother. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Joseph, but this is a game of betrayal, so we will see you in jury. I'm curious to see what the implications are when Turner and Kyle reunite with the remaining leftovers inside, because if they're trying to keep this a secret, I give Terrence a solid 24 hours before he tells someone. We'll have to see what happens in Sunday's episode, because we got a solid 30 seconds of this reunion before the end of the show, and the Brochella side does not look happy they don't see Joseph. I don't know, how do you think this is going to play out for the after party? Are they going to the end? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe while you're there, and head over to popculture.com for the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>